Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this E3D tutorial, we are going to model a slope on the piping. So what is the purpose of the slope in the piping? Because we have to give some angle in the piping so that the fluid will not stuck anywhere in between the pipe. So either we have to give drain point or if drain point is not feasible then we have to give the slope. So let's start. We will give the slope here. Let's say we will give slope in this pipe. First we will check the isometric. You see here right now there is no slope symbol in this isometric. Now we will model the slope and next we will see how. So this is the backward direction. We have to type back and I have already one slope. Here and we have to give slope to this elbow. First, we have to see the direction, which direction we want to give the slope. We want this should be higher. So our direction is west and slope will be upward direction. So here what we will do best and give direction U. So there are many types of slopes in, uh, in piping. In some surveys we are giving slopes 1 is to 50. Some surveys we are giving slope 1 is to 100. Some surveys we are giving slope 1 is to 200 and 1 is to 50. So you have to give only slope which is available on the PNID. When you refer any PNID, the slope is mentioned on the line on the PNID. So here I am giving slope 1 is to 200. So let's start. So I give here slope. Now I will connect next elbow. Direction north. I am using commands only because it is much easier while doing work on the 3D. Now this side, which side we have to give slope? This side and upper direction. Now this side is north. You always see this one. Now this is north. So I will give north. This is my north. Okay, then we will next connect. Direction west, throw ID at the rate. How you will check the slope? You click on any component and type here QP1, P2. You see here, P1 and P2, we already given slope 1 is to 200. Now we have to give slope here, which is side. It is west side. So again, we will give west and up. Slope is given here. Now we will create new elbow. New elbow choose all and I will select this one. You have to click here and next connect. Direction U through ID at the rate, and we will see it. We give the slope, and now our branch is higher. Click here, right click, and delete the elbow. Now we will go up. So, vertical, we are not giving any slope. Now, this side we have to slope forward side, so we have to go forward and give slope here downside now. We are going to east side now. Type east 
in slope d. New elbow, choose all. This one. Direction D through ID at the rate. And we will delete this elbow. Now we will run the isometric and we will see how slope looks in PNID, sorry in the isometrics. You see here, this is already given, we give slope this side, this one, this one and we give it top also. So this is perfectly alright what slope we have given. So in E3D there is one option here, you click on this one slope 1, but here there is a limitation, you can give only slope to the single pipe only, if you have any accessories or drain or something else, it will not land properly. So when you click this one and this window will be open, slope pipe, and here you can see type of slopes, one is to 200, one is to 50. 75, 50, 40, here you can select and uh, you can see the angle, what, what is the angle, this one. By giving manually is very easy and convenient, that's why I given here. So let's try another one, let's say we will give slope here. Now we will not give slope to wall because it is already connected to the nozzle. So what we have to do here, we have to give slope from this flange end. So here we have to create a new bend, new bend choose all. So we create this one, this bend, this is the next connect. Now give angle 0, ok, so now we have to give slope to the bend, now we will give slope, this side is a forward and should be downside now, this side is now west and slope is down, so we will best and down given then we will next connect direction north through id at the rate and now here we have to give slope downside and this direction is you can see direction from here it is north now north and down we have to next connect, maybe if you are new and then you write down these commands it will very helpful to you when you will start modeling in E3D. You check the orientation, this is not 90 so we have to make it 90. Direction down through ID at the rate. Here, check QP2. So again, how you have to, you have to check the slope? Click on any component and type here QP1, P2. If you are checking the T you have to type P1, P2 and P3 because T have 
थ्री पॉइंट्स एंड अदर वन हैव ओनली टू पॉइंट्स अ राइट पॉइंट एंड लीड पॉइंट यू सी यर P1, P2, yeah, it's slope is given here. Next row C. Now we have to group slope here. Q, P2, and now my direction is west side. We will create new elbow. Click on Next Connect. So I will give a link in the YouTube where you can see all the commands, piping commands, then equipment modeling commands. So if you follow that commands, it will be very helpful to you. Delete this one. So let's check the isometric view of this one. You see, here, we give slow from here. It's perfectly all right. In this way, we can do the sloping in 3D. I ho I hope you will learn in this tutorial how to model in slope uh, in 3D. If you have any comment related to this sloping, please do comment below. I will help you. Thanks.